Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest trends, news, and innovations from thought leaders like these two handsome gentlemen on my right from within the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming at you live from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And I've got Jeff Barber, you, we all know and love. He is the VP of Global Data Centers at Bloom Energy. And my new friend, Mr. Kevin Pasalakwa. Kevin is the VP of Structured Finance, also at Bloom Energy. That was a mouthful, guys. Welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Thanks, Dean. That's I love that DJ voice. <laughs> well, that you, is fantastic. You know, I, I am I am mustering the last bit of energy last that I, ha, I I have because you guys are the last interview of the the entire conference for me um and it, it will be a sad day when i uh, when i head home but it's a a good day because i don't have to talk so much and i'm really looking forward to that but you guys do have to talk and so i'm gonna jump into some of these questions um Let's start with the big one. Uh, you recently announced a landmark contract with American Electric Power. Kevin, tell us all about it. Yeah, so we're, we're super excited to be working with AP. Um, they've actually been a partner of ours for probably five years now. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're absolutely terrific. Um, and they're very creative and innovative in how they're looking to solve a lot of the power problems that mm -hmm. you know, all of our you know, data center customers are facing. So. I'm sure as everyone knows, as you keep asking for 50 megawatts, 100 megawatts, <laughs> 300 megawatts, the grid's a bit tapped out, right? Everyone yeah. kind of forgets that, you know, it was designed back in the day yeah. by Edison to run an analog economy, not a digital economy. <laughs> and AP, we're working with them to think about how do they make new investments, new mm -hmm. infrastructure, and how do you take, you know, how do you take distributed assets and put them on the customer site as part of the normal regulated Mm -hmm. process, right? So you still get the power from the utility like you always would, mm -hmm. but it comes in two factors, some over the lines and wires, some from the assets on site, and it's a way for them to really accelerate, you know, their getting capacity to the customer mm -hmm. locations in new innovative ways. And you're able to do it where you're not impacting the community as much as you other would, right? There's less construction. You don't quite have some of those same debates over yeah. who's taking capacity. So it's very innovative and, in you know, in solving some of these new problems. So Kevin, um, these partnerships feel more collaborative than ever before. That it, it is two parties really kind of helping one another rather than this is my partner, but really they're my, they're, they're my customer or, or they provide a very specific and unique piece of my, of my puzzle. But that's not how this is. This is really more of a, a collaboration in order to get the power to the people who need it. Yeah. And I think it has to be right. Cause we've, We've exhausted the yeah. electric infrastructure right. in the U.S. and in the world. And when you're thinking about it, you've got to build gigawatts of generation. And you've got to build thousands of miles of transmission. You're talking trillions of dollars of investment. Like this isn't kind trillions. of like looking. We're talking T with the trillions. Yeah, yeah, this isn't looking for spare change, right? This is. Yeah. We got to build something. We got to be thoughtful, right? Yeah. How do we how do we solve a problem today? But how do we enable it such that it continues to solve problems for? 10, 20, 30 years, right? So you got you got to solve the short term, you got to solve the long term, and you got to do it, you know, with a good, you know, with a good thoughtful approach. A good thoughtful approach. Let's continue on that theme. Um, what? Let's talk about the demand for the type of arrangement that Bloom has with AEP. Sure. So we've, you know, the demand that we've seen is just off the charts, and I think everyone's seen it, right? It's mm -hmm. it's it's unprecedented. I think in the global economy to mm -hmm. date, and everyone is looking for new ways to solve the problems, right? The old ways aren't going to get there. And, you know, the conversations we have is, can we get 150 megawatts? Can we get 200? Can we get 300 megawatts? And being able to have that solution come from a trusted partner like utility, someone who yeah. you've worked with for 30 years, 50 years, 100 years, yep. it, it's a great way to kind of now. really, you know, kind of build together a, a multi-way partnership. Excellent. Anything to add to that, Jeff? No, I think Kevin hit it perfectly. I mean, obviously, AEP is a forward-thinking utility. Mm -hmm. um, these are critical customers to them. You touched on it a little bit. The most, one of the most interesting things to me is this is done without the need to string new lines through neighborhoods, mm -hmm. without the need to construct substations and everything that goes along with that. It's a way to keep the retain the customers in the region with with zero zero impact to the community yeah. and to the the different types of businesses besides data centers. 
There are other businesses. We don't like to admit <laughs> there that. Are? <laughs> there are? What do they there. do? What yeah. could they possibly do? Haberdasheries. <laughs> they make yeah. hats and things. Right. Um, yeah. So the, you know, this is no impact to them. Yeah. And certainly in the case of Bloom, uh, there's no no noise or right? we're 60 decibels. It's not, yeah. it's not uh, intrusive at all. So I think that's a very important point because, you know, data centers tend to be under attack a little bit lately with the impact they're having on the community. Not in my backyard, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> you know? I know not in your backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Not in your but, uh, but that, but, but yeah, no, that that's absolutely true. And so it's not, it's not as simple as saying, Hey, this partnership works. We now can get power. Or we, we now can, we, we've now gotten what it is that we need, but rather we've, we've, the partnership works because it's collaborative and because we're thinking about all the other businesses, the communities that may be impacted by what it is that we're doing, because without that, no long-term viability. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. So, um, a report, a, a new report. report. Yeah. Yes. I want to hear a more about this report released yesterday morning. I believe yeah. it hit the wire. So, uh, we just released a data center power report and, Everyone's probably watching me going right now. Like, Data center power, that seems yeah. to be on the tip of everyone's you know, tongue who, right now. Who cares, Jeff? This is your 4,297th <laughs> interview yeah. at JSA. Who cares about a power report? This one's unique. This one is a ton of empirical data, a ton of um, analysis from executives in our industry. Most interesting thing is 30 plus percent are considering on-site power right now. Okay, well... We kind of know that intrinsically, yeah, 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 yeah. it's getting trendy yeah. and all that. But the thing to look at is it was less than half of that only seven months ago. Seven months. Seven months, we've doubled the amount of on-site generation, uh, more than interest, plans, yeah, yeah. committed dollars to have on-site distributed energy at the data center. I think that's, I think we've reached a tipping point where... Like, as Kevin likes to say, you know, we've all gone through the seven stages of grief that yeah. the transmission yeah. lines are not going to just show up. Yeah. I'm not going to get my my will serve letter or whatever yeah. contract I'm looking for. I need to take control of this and uh, and do this on site, right? So yeah, bring your own a, power is a real thing. B Y O P. You could you could find TM, that on our website. By the way, TM. Yeah, <laughs> you can find that on our website. Um, like I said, I believe it published yesterday morning. It hit the wires. It's out there on LinkedIn, of course. Anybody that follows me on LinkedIn would, uh, it's, it's doesn't right everybody there. follow you on LinkedIn, Jeff? Almost everyone. <laughs> Almost everyone. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being with, uh, with us on JSA TV. Yeah. Dean, now hit that Mai Tai you got right into yeah. the It right is there. my last I interview right <laughs> of the entire <laughs> conference. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate thanks. it. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, everyone. And thank you viewers for sticking with us, um, and, and, and tuning in to all of the great conversations from all of the magnificent thought leaders from within the industry over the last three days. We cannot thank you enough. Stay connected, stay curious, and we will see you very soon. DCD Connect in New York, I believe, is the next time I will see many of you. Yeah, Not Metro Connect? Oh, I hope not. I mean, <laughs> so, somebody from JSA will definitely be, will be there. there. Yeah. Uh, probably probably oh, not me. That makes me sad. Yeah. Well, me too, I guess, a little bit, right? Yeah. But uh, anyway, stay curious, stay connected. I said this already, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.